All right, active weather coverage here, and we are talking about uh, Helene. Became a tropical storm. Next up on the hierarchy, a hurricane, which it'll do today. And then it's going to be strengthening rapidly as it cruises across the Gulf of Mexico and could have a big impact on Florida. So as a result, Mark Robinson, our storm hunter extraordinaire, is on in Florida. Now, this is a nice looking graphic, but we've got the, we've got the man himself with us. Now, Mark, I know I'm looking at where it is behind you. I can hear birds chirping. There's not even a breath of wind to the breath of wind in the air um are people taking this seriously like how would you say but in terms of the preparations yeah chris I've, i'm really seeing preparations you know really getting going uh sort of this morning as you know, I've, we've seen a lot of police cars a lot of sheriffs uh, we're also seeing hydro trucks see them uh, behind me back there, but just so many hydro trucks moving into the area from a variety of states uh, around Florida, close to this area, uh, simply because the winds uh, with this hurricane are going to make it fairly far inland, and Tallahassee has a lot of tree cover, which means a lot of trees likely coming down on power lines. Uh, we're going to see you know, potentially a lot of damage uh, as this hurricane makes its way in, because at the moment, uh, the National Hurricane Center does have the uh, so the center of the hurricane going almost directly over top of Tallahassee itself. And, and that's, I think, got everybody here concerned. This has had very little lead time. Uh, you know, quite often we're watching these things for a week. Uh, this time we've watched it for less than 48 hours and all of a sudden it's, uh, you know, coming this way. So evacuations, difficult to do when you're talking about a populated area like Tallahassee. Yeah, and it's a big, it's going to become a big storm as well, which means it's going to have a big wingspan and uh, the geographical area of impact could be quite impressive. Now, Mark, we, of course, we can get hit with tropical storms, hurricanes, remnants of thereof here in Canada. So on, on a checklist, because it's always good to be prepared, what does is the priority what is what is on your checklist or what would you recommend for be on people's checklist when a storm something like this approaches well, I mean, Chris, it's, I think it's the same for down here versus, you know, remnants making it up uh, to Canada. Uh, just, you know, you have to be a bit more prepared here. So I'm going to talk about things like water, have a lots of uh, fresh water, you know, bottled water, great way to uh, actually, you know, that's when bottled water actually becomes quite useful. Uh, you know, if you've got a generator, have a generator ready to go. But the, like the biggest thing, uh, again, is that food, water, and be prepared to, you know, not have power for, uh, for quite a while. Uh, you know, we move up to to Canada, same sort of thing. You know, we can see these things, uh, you know, wipe out power in areas like Toronto, uh, in Montreal. We, you know, we definitely see those remnants coming up uh, mm -hmm. and can do quite a bit of damage. So this is the kind of thing, you know, just uh, uh, you know, preparation for at least 72 hours. Absolutely critical, Chris. All right. Uh, <clears throat> good advice, Mark. And of course, we'll be following you as uh, the storm gets closer.